Hello, my name is Amanda Ozard, and I'm bringing you a nice gentle flow today from New York City. So we're going to start in a child's pose. So sink your hips back to your heels and crawl the fingertips long on your mat. Stay active through the arms. Really crawl your fingertips forward and reach as the hips sink lower. Start to connect to your breath. So inhale through the nose, staying in your child's pose. Fill all the way up, feel the air coming through the chest, into the lungs, filling up the abdomen. Hold at the top. And exhale through the nose, feeling the breath leave the body the same way. Out the abdomen, through the chest, up through the throat, out the nose. Repeat this cycle again, sealing the lips and constricting the back of the throat so your breath takes on an oceanic sound. This is your ujjayi breath. So we use this to connect the mind and the body in your practice. So you go one breath, one movement. We breathe in, we move. We breathe out, we move. Now inhale, come on up to a tabletop. So bring the shoulders above the wrists and the hips above the knees. As you inhale, drop the belly to the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up for your cow pose. Exhale, start to round. Bring the center of the spine towards the ceiling and your gaze towards your navel for cat. Move through a few cycles. Cat and cow connecting the movement to your breath. Now push down into the palms of your hands. Come back to a neutral spine and step the feet back so your legs are straight. You're in your plank pose. Now we're just gonna build a little heat here. So push the mat away, straighten through the elbows, round through the shoulder blades because you're pushing the mat so far away. Reconnect to your breath. One more deep inhale, holding your plank. Inhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Round through the spine, try to touch your knee to your nose. Exhale, step the right foot through in between your hands. You can drop the back knee. Reconnect to your breath as you feel your tailbone sinking towards the mat. Inhale the right arm up for a twist, chest to the ceiling. Now press down into that left hand as you span onto the knife edge of your back foot. Heel toe your right foot back to meet the left or pick it up and just set it on top. Now we're in our side plank. Think of the right hip lifting towards the ceiling and your chest spinning towards the ceiling. Stay here. If the balance is challenging for you, you can put the left knee down or lift up the right leg and step it back behind you. Hips to the sky for your wild thing. On the exhale, spin it back around to your plank. Reset, push through the palms of the hands, round through the shoulder blades because you're pushing the mat so far away. Squeeze your core in, squeeze the glutes. Your next inhale, bring the left knee to your nose. Try to touch. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Place the right knee down on the mat. Reconnect to your breath. Twist the left arm up to the sky. 
heart to the ceiling. Now start to spin onto the knife edge of the right foot as you press into the right palm. Bring the right foot, left foot back to meet the right. Side plank on the other side. Same options here. You can either put a knee down or lift up the top leg. Set it behind you. Wild thing. Spin back down to your plank. Now inhale, gently look between your fingertips and walk your feet up to a forward fold. Hang heavy here. You can grab for opposite elbows. Try to release the pressure in the low back. Sway side to side. Shake your head around. See if you can take an inventory of how your body feels today without judging any tightness or stiffness. Now exhale, drop the hands if you haven't already. Keep your fingertips on the mat or on your shins. Inhale, lift your heart up to the sky with a flat back. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling for your mountain pose. Exhale, bring the palms to heart center. Now we're gonna check in with our posture. Look down, make sure your feet are hips width distance apart. Lift up each of your toes off the mat and gently put them back down one by one as you really ground down through all four corners of your feet. Squeeze the legs together, lift up on the thighs. See if you can tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your core, roll your shoulders back and down your back. Grow taller through your spine, so imagine a string is pulling your head towards the ceiling. Now inhale your arms up again. Exhale, fold. Now plant the hands, step back to your plank pose. So I'm gonna show you three different options for vinyasa. First one, lower your knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Exhale, slide forward and lift your chest one inch off the mat, squeezing your elbows together, staying light in the hands for baby cobra. So you're using the strength of your low back here. Bring your chest back down in the mat, move through a tabletop as you inhale to your downward facing dog. We're gonna use the next five breaths to set up our down dog here. So really spread wide through the fingertips as you push down into the mat. Spin the eyes of your elbows forward. Push so hard into the mat that your chest moves towards your knees and gaze up at your navel. Really think of the hips lifting towards the sky as much as you can. At the same time, ground down through your heels and ground down through the feet. It's okay to keep a micro bend in the knees and it's okay if the heels don't touch, but energetically just move in that direction towards the ground. If you need to, Pedal at the feet to warm up, to get used to this posture, you can do that. You can shake the head. And then settle in, connect to your breath. One more deep inhale. Inhale, look up in between your hands and step up towards the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale for your mountain pose. Arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms towards the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
plant the hands, step back to your plank. On your exhale, squeeze the elbows together, slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Now inhale, full cobra, straighten the arms, using the strength of your low back, lift the chest to the ceiling. As you exhale, push up off the mat, tuck the toes, lift the hips to your downward facing dog. We're gonna stay for five breaths. Really push through the palms of the hands, lift the, the hips up to the sky. Keep your gaze towards your navel. One last deep inhale in your downward dog. Look up in between your hands. You can step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Mountain pose. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Plant the hands. Step back into your plank. Now, third option is chaturanga. Squeeze the elbows together. Lower halfway down until your elbows are at 90 degrees. As you inhale, slide forward, keeping the knees and hips off the mat for up dog. Really engage through the glutes and all the lower half of your body. Exhale, hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog. Now inhale, the right leg goes up into the sky. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Spin the back heel down so the back toes are at 45 degrees. Stay bent in the front knee and inhale your arms up, warrior one. Now really keep engaged and active through your fingertips. So bring the biceps by the ears and reach towards the ceiling. So every inhale, reach a little taller. And as you exhale, think of sinking lower and spinning the left hip forward as you spin the right hip back. So we're trying to get square in the hips, which means parallel with the front edge of the mat. So reach on the inhale, sink on the exhale. You can close your eyes. If it helps you feel into the pose a little bit more. If you're struggling with the balance, move the right foot out to the right. Give yourself a little bit of a wider stance. On your next inhale, reach tall and straighten the front leg. Now keep on reaching and exhale, fold. You can keep your fingertips framing the foot here. If you need a little tiny step in, you can do that. Or you can bring your hands to reverse prayer behind your back as the chest folds towards the knee. Every inhale, think of your spine growing longer. Every exhale, fold deeper. And don't forget your ujjayi breath. So we're gonna to continue to spin the left hip forward and right hip back, still trying to stay nice and square. Now if the hands are behind your back, go ahead and drop them to frame the foot. Keeping the legs as they are, lift the right hand up to the ceiling for a twist. Really reach the fingertips towards the ceiling as we spin the heart towards the ceiling. 
Think of the right hip coming back in space if it's coming out a little bit. Every inhale, reach, and every exhale, twist just a little deeper. Now exhale, bring the hand down from the foot. Step the left foot up to meet the right. So we're in a forward fold. Now bend the knees till the chest comes down to the knees. Sweep the arms back behind you. Inhale, stay low, chest up for chair pose. Tuck the tailbone down to the mat as you reach the biceps by the ears. Inhale to reach longer. Exhale to sit a little lower. Now take that right arm and wrap it underneath the left and meet your palms together in a prayer pose. If that's a lot for you, then grab for opposite shoulders. Now start to shift the weight into the left foot. Lift up the right leg and wrap it around the left. Squeeze everything into the midline. Lift up the elbows, sit lower. It's a detoxifying twist. So really see if you can just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Focus your gaze on something in front of you that's not moving. Help with the balance. One more inhale, squeeze. Exhale to release and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back into your plank. You can choose the vinyasa of your choice or skip it. I'm gonna cue the chaturanga, so exhale. Lower halfway down. Inhale, chest to the sky for up dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five deep breaths in your down dog. Really pressing through the palms of the hands. Think of pressing down through all four corners of the palm. Inhale, the hips go up to the ceiling. Exhale, the heels sink to the mat. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Spin the right heel down so it's at 45 degrees. Stay bent in the left knee. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Bring the biceps back by the ears of the fingertips. Reach long. Think of, on the exhale, the right hip spinning forward, left hip back. So we're squaring the hips on this side now. Every inhale, reach, reach, reach. Every exhale, sink a little lower. Now inhale, reach long and straighten the front leg. You can take a step in with the back foot if you need to. As you reach all the way up at the end of the inhale, exhale, fold. Hands frame the front foot. You can stay here or bring the hands to reverse prayer. Every inhale, grow longer in the spine. Exhales, fold you deeper. Drop the right hand, left hand towards the ceiling for your revolved triangle. Every inhale, reach with the left hand. Exhale, spin the right hip under to twist you a little deeper.
Exhale, bring, bring your left hand down. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Bend through the knees, bring the chest to the knees. Sweep the arms back behind you. Inhale, chest up, stay low in the lower half of the body. Chair pose. Every inhale, reach higher, exhale, sink deeper. Sending the tailbone towards the mat. Inhale to reach long, exhale to sit deeper. Now take the, <laughs> take the left hand and circle it down around the left, right elbow towards your face, beaming in the middle for prayer, for eagle hands. Now put the weight into your right foot. Lift up the left, if you can, lift it all the way up and around, wrap. So an eagle pose on the left. Now inhale, squeeze everything towards the center, lift the elbows up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Focus your gaze on something in front of you that's not moving. Every inhale, squeeze and lift. Every exhale, sink. Come back to your Ujjayi breath. It'll help with your balance. One more inhale, squeeze. Exhale, unwind, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to a plank. Move through your vinyasa. Exhale, down. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips up. You can come down to your knees. Take a child's pose or grab some water. Now roll onto your bum and bring the legs out long in front of you. I'm just gonna do a quick twist. So bend the right knee and step it outside the left knee. Now bring your left hand up, twist towards the bent knee and hook your left elbow around the right knee for a little twist. Flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, grow taller through the spine as you exhale the twist deeper. Untwist, straighten both the legs. Inhale, bring the left knee in. Step it outside the right knee. Inhale, the right hand up. Exhale, twist. Hook the right elbow behind the left knee, twist to the left. Untwist, unwind. Cross the feet however you want to get to your downward dog. I'm going to plant my hands and hop back. Now inhale, right leg goes up behind you. Exhale, step it through in between your hands. Back heel stays lifted. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. Every inhale, reach taller. Every exhale, sink deeper into your lunge. See if you can tuck the tailbone towards the mat, keeping the back leg straight and strong. Suck the core in, bring the ribs in as you bring the biceps by your shoulders. Reconnect to your breath. Close your eyes if you want, if you have the balance. Now as you exhale, spin the back heel down, open up for your warrior two. I'm going to come so you can see me. You can readjust the feet if you need, so you have heel to arch alignment. Really reach long through both your fingertips like there's two people pulling your arms apart. As you do that, lift the chest slightly towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, imagine your spine growing longer. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Good. 
Keep your gaze over your right fingertips. Now take your right forearm and put it on your right thigh. Reach up and over. You should feel a long line of energy coming from the left heel out the left fingertips. So you're getting a full stretch in the side body. Spin your chest towards the ceiling a little bit so you're opening up. You can sink deeper. It's okay with your thighs. If you want to go for the bind, take that left arm, reach it behind you, reach through and grab underneath with the right. Drop the right hand down, lift the left hand up. Look forward, bottom foot in front of you. Focus your gaze on something that isn't moving. Shift the weight into the right foot. And lift up with the left for half moon. Flex the back toes. If you have a block here, you can put a block. You can keep a micro bend in the right leg to help. Think of spinning your chest towards the ceiling. And if you want to lift up, test your balance. And exhale. Step the back foot to the back of the mat. Plant your hands, step back, move through your vinyasa. So exhale, lower. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips to the sky. Downward dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step it through in between the hands. Back heel stays lifted. Inhale, arms up. Crescent lunge. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, sink. Stand the back heel down. Open up. Warrior two. Gaze over the left fingertips. Adjust your feet if you need. Squeeze the inner thighs together as you tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, sink deeper. your left forearm and put it on your left thigh as the right arm comes up and over extended triangle imagine a long line of energy from the right ankle out the right fingertips you're getting a deep stretch in your side spin the heart towards the ceiling gaze up towards the ceiling If you want for the bind on the other side, try it on this side. Reach the right arm back, left arm under, and grab. And it's okay if your hands don't meet. Drop the left hand down, right arm up. I'm gonna step back. So I'm in a tiny room. Now look in front of you about a foot. Have something that's not moving. Shift the weight into the front foot, the left foot. And when you're ready, lift up. Scoot back. Lift up the right foot, keeping the right toes flexed. Really reach with your warrior two arms. So reaching through two directions, through the right and left hand. Imagine energy coming out the back heel and out the crown of your head so you're making 
a plus sign. Your gaze can be at the ground, or if you're ready, you can take it up towards the top hand. And if you want to test the balance, see if you can lift up. Really reach through all four directions. When you're ready, plant the hands, put the back foot back at the back of the mat, step back, and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips to the ceiling. Now inhale, back to a plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your mat. Just take a break for a second. Bring the arms down by the side. Place one ear on the mat and close your eyes. Return to your Ujjayi breath. Now bring your chin to the mat. Squeeze your legs together. So zip your feet, your, your legs up from your toes all the way up to your hips. I'm never going to do this. Bring your arms out long in front of you. Imagine squeezing everything together. As you inhale, lift up the legs and lift up the arms. Keeping everything together. So using the strength of your low back to lift the chest, squeezing the glutes so the thighs lift. Reach out the toes, reach out the fingertips. One more inhale, lift, exhale. Sit it down, place your other ear to the mat. Bring your arms down, back by your sides. Bring your chin to the mat. You can do one more round with your arms out long and your legs long. Or reach back, keeping your knees glued together. Reach back and grab for the outside of the feet. Now inhale, kick the feet into the hands. Chest up. So every inhale, reach just a little bit higher. Exhale, squeeze everything to the center. Taking small sips of air. Exhale, release everything down to the mat, opposite ear to the mat. Arms by your side. Switch to the opposite ear. Plant the hands, slowly push yourself up to a tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up, now we're dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step the right foot outside of the right hand. Option to stay here with the arm straight and the leg straight. You can also drop the back knee. You can take either option with the knee and whatever is okay with your body. If you want to come down to the forearms, we're going to stay in lizard for five breaths. Inhale, straighten the arms. If you want to reach back for a quad stretch, grab for the 
the left toes. <laughs> really pull the toes into the bum. You can twist your chest towards the ceiling. If this is a lot for your knee, fold your mat over and give yourself some extra padding or just skip. Exhale to release. Plant the hands, step back to your downward dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Left foot outside the left hand. You might want to choose the same option you did on the other side, or maybe the side feels a little different. You can keep the knee up or down, arms straight, or come down to your forearms. For five breaths. Inhale, straighten the arms. If you did the quad stretch on the other side, see how it feels on this side. Kick the right foot in and squeeze the heel to your bum. Think of twisting the chest to the ceiling. Shavasana. Do that now. Otherwise, roll onto your backs. Do a little scan on your body. See if there's anywhere you're still holding tension. Release any tension from the hips, shoulders, neck. Release any tension from the jaw. Relax between the eyebrows. Take a deep inhale. And exhale for your Shavasana. Thanks so much for practicing yoga with me. Namaste.